Welcome to episode two of Matt Letitia's newsletter. That's the... Matt Letitia 7. This is, uh, yeah, second newsletter. This just came out today. Last one went to my junk. I couldn't find it. I actually tweeted him and asked, and he told me very kindly, he said, uh, be in your junk, and it was. So he's right about some things. Hi, everyone. Hope you've all had a good week. Or as good as it can be in these weird times we're living through. <laughs> Look at, he spelt through T H R U. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's just the first time he's done that. Welcome to the, to the new subscribers and thank you for joining. So, as per usual, the media used their immense power to try and get everyone to feel sorry for Hugh Edwards after he plays the mental health card. So predictable. <laughs> Also, <laughs> also, equally as predictable is the media's constant fear-mongering about global temperatures. This has now officially taken over from the COVID, COVID scare-mongering with no one wishing to give a voice to the vaccine injured and completely ignoring excess deaths and increases in so many ailments all after the rollout of the gene therapies with exclamation marks. Sorry, some of these sentences are quite long. All these global scare tactics all involve the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. Funny that. That's how you could normally tell it's a scam. None of the billionaires are prepared to give up their private jets, are they? And it's not a question mark, it's an exclamation mark there, but that's the point came across. On a brighter note, more and more people are awakening to the fact that they've been lied to on a massive scale by their governments. And each time I'm out in public places, I'm getting lots of messages of support with heart which heartens me greatly he's quite rich yeah but yeah, he's not a billionaire i guess on the media front this week on tuesday i recorded a podcast with chris thrall oh we heard about this i wonder how it went on tuesday which is called the bought the t-shirt podcast which is now out chris is a former royal marines commando best-selling author and was veteran of the year veteran of the year in 2022 how do you get veteran of the year? And had some fascinating points of view of view of his own. I was also on Sonia Poulton's show Rise, which went out live on Wednesday evening on brand new tube and can be viewed on brand new tube. Is that a new thing? Do you know tube? Oh. Um brand new tube and can be viewed via her Twitter feed. And finally on Thursday, I had a zoom call with Lee Dawson on his YouTube channel where we discussed everything and anything. <laughs> Sorry. It's just how long that sentence was. I enjoyed it. Oh, here we go. This is the good stuff. Having played six rounds of golf the previous week, including two rounds in the Stoneham club championship finished 24th of the 60 or so players. It's not bad. I guess. I don't play golf. The top is cut off. Yeah, no, I've read that. Um, having played six rounds of golf the previous week, including two rounds of the Stoneham Club Championship, finished 24 out of 60 players, I thought I'd spend a, week, a bit more time at home last week and only played twice. A four over par round at Stoneham. You can, yeah. Oh, you mean that little bit. Okay. Uh, a four over par round at Stoneham on Wednesday and a 10 over par in a charity day at Dibden Golf Centre in the pouring rain with my old teammates Nicky Banger and Leroy Whale. Had a tough decision to make Tuesday evening as that's normally my paddle tennis evening paddle paddle it's pronounced banger not banger right sorry um my paddle tennis evening i don't know what that is but um but our village gentlemen's curry club had organized our next get together for last tuesday needless to say the curry and at the purbani in romney was lovely in my defense, I have been out for a couple of runs last week. In my defense, last week on Monday, 
with my mate Andy on the roads around the village. And yesterday in the gym, while my daughter went through her strength and conditioning exercise to help with her netball. Was also lovely... Uh, was also lovely to catch up with my old mate Richard Bland on Saturday. That, is that a real guy? That sounds like a comedy character. Richard Bland on Saturday, and I was very impressed with his culinary expertise on the barbecue. Hope he goes well in the at the Open Championship uh, this week. Is that a famous guy? Okay. Well, he's is he in the Open? He's a golfer. Oh, okay. I feel like he's kind of throwing his friends under the bus a bit here. Everyone's going to be like... Anyway. People are going to be asking Richard Bland. Oh, maybe he's just like Matt, to be fair. You may have seen the video on Twitter that me and many others posted. Oh, yes. this. The, here we go. You may have seen the video on Twitter that me and many others posted on Friday evening regarding not complying with current corrupt governments. These types of initiatives are to help raise awareness and certainly did the job as my video had 2.7 million views and Ricky Lambert's having 4.6 million. Every little helps and keep an eye out for more initiatives over the coming months. And finally, I just wanted to say that I have found it really important in life to find balance between fighting for causes you truly believe in and trying to make sure you still find enjoyment in the simple pleasures in life. We're only here once, and as my uncle Pete used to say say to me when I was younger, <clears throat> we're here for a good time, not a long time. And those words have stuck with me to this day. Have a great week, everyone, and thanks again for your support. Best, Matt. Excellent. <laughs>